Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. What up, baby? Day two on the road. Here we go. I'm in St. Louis right now. My brother gave me this sweet bedroom to sleep in last night. He blew up the air mattress for me and everything, dude. It was awesome. Tonight I am performing in the Riverfront Showcase, is what it's called. It's a show at 9.30 in Fort Wayne, and it's about a six hour drive from here. All right guys, I'm trying to finalize my set for tonight. And I know originally I said I was gonna try and do two different 10 minute sets this weekend, one on Friday and one on Saturday, but I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I just need to make the best 10 minute set I can and deliver it on Friday and Saturday and maybe change some things out in between if I think I can make it better. So yeah, new plan, trying to draft up the, it's really hard to decide what I'm gonna say, dude. It's always tough to decide, but I'm gonna figure it out and then we're gonna leave. All right guys, I decided what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna pack up and hit the road pretty soon. And uh, shout out to my brother for letting me eat his cereal. Total beast. I've never seen this kind of milk before, dude. I don't really trust it. I thought it was like soy milk, but it says 100% real milk. So I guess I believe them. I guess it's A2 milk, apparently. It's different than ordinary milk. Huh. All right, boys, it's time to hit the road to Fort Wayne. We got a five hour and 45 minute drive ahead of us. It's a long drive, dude. It's the longest I've ever driven at one time. And we're even gonna change time zones, so it's really gonna be more, we're gonna get there in about seven hours with the time change. And the show starts in about nine and a half hours, so we do have plenty of time. I'm gonna get there, hopefully take a shower, and then go to the show. I brought my set with me. I'm gonna try and use the car ride to memorize it. And also my brother packed me a sandwich. Yo, shout out, bro. I love you. Thank you, Dave. I'll probably eat that when I stop for gas. I'll see you fuckers in Fort Wayne. Peace. Yo, we are coming up on the three hour mark of the trip. We're about halfway there. And apparently I just, we're in Illinois right now. I thought that Indiana was next to Missouri, but no, apparently we just drove across Illinois for the entire last three hours. But we're about to enter Indiana now. Mmm, that's a good sandwich. Bro, that's a fucking good sandwich. My brother made me this. I wasn't expecting much. I thought it would be like mayo with turkey. No, nah, dude, there's pesto on that shit. That's fire. Yeah, I've been trying to memorize my set. <laughs> Every hour on the drive, I just say it to myself. So it'll be like five or six times by the time I get there. Yo, we made quick stop at Indianapolis. We got Lucas Oil Stadium behind me. I just wanted to stop here and say, fuck the Colts, fuck Peyton Manning, go Chiefs, and we're gonna keep on our way to Fort Wayne. Holy shit, guys, we finally made it. Wow, I do not know how I just did that. I just feel like I just, I feel like a child of the highway now. Just been driving for so long, dude, just putting miles away. We made it, baby. Holy shit. All right, guys, here's the house. I parked out back. Why isn't it open? Why isn't it open, bro? There we go. Wow. Look at me now, bitch. Wow, guys, here's the bathroom. They got the shower right there, the toilet right there. That way you can poop while you shower. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Well, guys, here I am, 600 miles from home. I bet my ex-girlfriend regrets breaking up with me now. Look at me. I got a room all to myself. I'm in the second biggest city in Indiana. She probably wants me back. I, I can see how the road can get lonely for comedians. This looks like the type of room that you would lose your mind in. <laughs> This looks like the type of room where you would write a manifesto. All work and no play makes Mike a dull boy. All work and no play makes Mike a dull boy. Alright guys, I'm about to go check in with the festival, get my badge, get a shirt, and I don't know. 
something else, I forget. All right, guys, I got just got my shit. One festival pass, one free drink ticket at this bar, and a festival t-shirt. And I just found out, so one comedian is gonna get $1,000 at the end of this. And I found out the way it works is that all the comedians are gonna vote. So I thought it would be like an audience member vote, but now I feel like I have to go around and schmooze all the other comedians. Like, oh, nice to meet you. Oh, no, oh, will you vote for me? No, I don't know, dude. I'm just not gonna worry about it. Dude, holy shit, look, there's a beautiful sunset. Damn, Fort Wayne, I didn't know you were chill like that. Shit. Yo, I also just met some Fort Wayne comedians. Very chill people. Good people here. I think I'm, I think I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy. The walls are really thin here. They can hear everything we say. Okay, guys. All right, we're headed to the Riverfront Showcase. Closed mic night. We got to do good, dude. We're going to murder. We didn't drive nine and a half hours to bomb. No, we came here to deliver. All right? So let's fucking do this shit. All right, I haven't found the room that I'm performing in, but I just talked to some of the other comedians. They said there's like nobody here. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I just drove nine and a half hours. And so did they. One guy came from Philadelphia. The other guy, I forgot where he came from, but I was hoping there'd be at least like 30 or 40 people in the crowd. I don't want to perform for eight people, dude. God damn it. We're going to do our best no matter what, obviously. I haven't seen the room. Maybe there's some people in there. Yes. This is the room. <laughs> nobody showed up. They canceled it. What a fucking joke, dude. How does nobody show up? I literally ran into like 20 people outside drag racing. Those people could have showed up. Go ahead, rip it. It's a video, rip it. They're not racing, they're not racing. They're gonna race over there. Ah, damn it. Yeah, nobody fucking showed up. And they're like, oh, you guys wanna just perform for each other? And then someone was like, no, I don't wanna fucking perform for each other. And nobody really wanted to do that. I guess I'll go to the other show that's happening in the festival and see if they'll let me go on that one. And if that doesn't work, I'll just go to the fucking bar. <laughs> like, I feel fucking duped. I feel like a fucking idiot. I paid like $25 to apply for this festival and then I got accepted and then I drove nine and a half hours and not even one audience member showed up. Not even one. I mean, how can not even one guy show up? All right guys, luckily I was able to hop on another show at the Cinema Center and it's going on right now and it, there are a lot of people there. But it, it's really weird. Apparently, I have to, like, eat hot sauce during my set. Like, I just signed a waiver. So, it's like, he said it's going to be the hottest thing I ever eat in my life. <laughs> but I guess this is what I have to do because my other show got canceled. It'll be a really good test to see if I can memorize my set when I'm in agonizing pain. The rest of our special guest lineup, ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Michael Blake. What up, Summit City? Hey. The city that saved itself yeah. after the 1982 flood. Oh, I did my research. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a nine and a half hour drive, though. I forgot that part of the research. I also thought it was in Texas initially. I'm glad to be here, Indiana, learning a lot about geography. Oh my. Oh my fucking God. Holy fucking shit, my mouth is on fire, dude, and my lips burn. This isn't even fucking milk, this is just water. All right, we did the set. It went pretty good. It went fine, like I definitely didn't murder. But I did good enough. It was kind of hard to talk with the hot sauce. But yeah, so I ended up having too much material. I didn't get through my closer, which is my best joke. So I feel like I deprived them of my best joke. But the good news is that means I have like plenty of time and I can cut some stuff out if I need to. All right, yeah, okay, it went fine. Oh yeah, they liked the lower back day joke. Yeah, I like to work out. I have a really ripped lower back. 
Every day is lower back day if your form is bad enough. <laughs> That's what I always say. I like to target that L4, L5 vertebrae. I can squat 300 pounds without moving my legs. I mean, they liked all my jokes pretty equally. None of them crushed. Oh yeah, I told the joke about being mentally challenged. Sometimes when people first meet me, they think I'm like a little bit mentally challenged. Like I had like multiple lifelong friends tell me like, man, when I first met you, I thought you were mentally challenged. And the first time I heard that, I was like, ha ha ha, what? That's crazy, no way. But the second time I heard that, I was like, ha ha, what? That's crazy. No way. Am I mentally challenged? I don't know. It's a pretty quiet room right now. <laughs> you guys are like, who's going to tell him? <laughs> Is this why my parents never asked me to move out? <laughs> it's making sense. And the hot sauce wasn't that bad. It really got bad after I got off stage. But I had to hit the hot sauce three times. Every time I pretended that it wasn't very hot, but deep down, it's really hot. Shit. Is that it? It's inside the cup? It looks like it's thick. Oh my fuck! Can we get some real hot sauce in here now? <clears throat> that ain't shit. Where's the 12 million at? If I'm gonna be honest with myself, it fucking hurts! But pretty soon the pain will subside and it will be replaced with the sweetest endorphin rush. So yeah, that was my set for tonight. I'm glad I was able to do a show after all with a decent crowd much better than the other show would have been. Now that I was able to tell my set today, tomorrow I'll be able to tell with more confidence and it'll hopefully it'll go even better. But yeah, that was Fort Wayne Comedy Festival day one. Now I'm just gonna go party with all the comedians. We're probably gonna go to the bars after the show because that's what you do at a comedy festival. Thanks for coming along guys. This has been Closed Mic Night. I fucking love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.